So here's my acceptance letter that I got into medical school as a senior in high school. And in today's video, I wanna talk about how I did this. So just a quick disclaimer, before we get into this video, I don't want any of this to sound cocky. I'm really sorry if it's coming off that way. I just want more people to know about BSMD programs and the opportunities that they offer. But now that we got that out the way, check me out. Your boy's in med school, you know, I'll say, okay, okay. Just playing, sorry. Anyways, what's going on guys? Welcome to the channel. My name is Azir Navaz, and I'm going into my junior year at Union College. I'm studying biology and psychology, and I'm in the leadership and medicine program. So before talking about anything else, I want to describe the leadership and medicine program a little. The program is an eight year combined BS, MBA, and MD program. The leadership and medicine program is unique for this reason compared to other BS, MD programs, because it actually sets you up to earn three degrees rather than just two, including the BS, the MBA and the MD. Whereas in traditional BSMD programs, students only earn the BS and the MD. Also, as I just mentioned, the Leadership in Medicine program is an eight-year program, but there are also many seven-year BSMD programs for those who want to finish undergrad in three years and get to medical school faster. There's also a few six-year programs which allow students to get to medical school even faster. But when I was applying, I only applied to seven and eight-year programs. And of the two, I preferred eight-year programs just because I wanted to have more time in undergrad. And I also wanted to be able to properly enjoy my time in undergrad before doing something as difficult as medical school. So that's just a quick overview of my program. And now I want to get into how I got into this program and what it was like in high school applying to these programs. But I just don't feel like this is the right place to talk about that. So. Can you see that? No, okay. All right, I'm thinking what better place to talk about high school than uh, my high school. This is Jericho High School. I spent junior and senior year of high school here because I actually changed high schools after sophomore year of high school. So for starters, I'll actually admit that I was kind of late into the combined degree program game. I didn't realize that in order to actually get into these programs, you had to show interest in medicine. I think by the time I was a junior in high school, I literally had no medically related activities other than just like a little bit of shadowing. So I kind of realized that I needed to turn up my junior and senior year of high school if I wanted to get into these programs. And so over the next two years, I did just that. I started volunteering at a hospital. I secured more shadowing. I did a mission trip in India and I spent so long studying for the SAT. Honestly, I did everything I needed to do to just be the average combined degree applicant. You might be thinking like, what? How is that the average applicant? Someone who's secured several medical experiences, who has high SAT scores, who has above a 3.9 GPA. Uh, well, it's because- Oh my God, there's a bug. Okay, sorry. It's because these things are what make an applicant eligible for these programs in the first place. And that's what makes them so tough to get into. Also, I didn't mention this before, but mostly all BSMD programs have a couple of steps before you actually get into the program. And what I mean by this is first, you have to get accepted into the undergrad and then the undergrad forwards your application to the med school. And then the med school reviews your application. And if they like it, then they invite you for an interview. And then you have to do well in your interview. And then if your interview goes well, only then are you officially accepted into the program. The hardest part of the application for me, and I think for most people, is actually getting an interview invitation. And this is because this part of the process is based solely on your letters of recs and your essays. Before I continue on with the video, I wanna give a shout out to Mrs. Bowler, Mrs. Renato, and my counselor, D. Wu, for all helping me a ton through these processes with my letters of recs, with my essays, and I honestly don't think I would be in the program I am today if not for them. So yeah, senior year, the BSMD applications are due much sooner than other common app applications. So I submitted most of my BSMD applications in the fall time. Then you get notified of interviews at varying times anywhere from December to March. These BSMD applications require many additional essays other than just your common app essay, but luckily many of the BSMD program's essays actually overlap with one another. So you can reuse some of your material for that. So during the application cycle, I received two interviews, one in January and one in February. 
and luckily I was accepted into both programs. But yeah, those are the only interviews I got and the only acceptances I got, even though I applied to like 11 BSB programs. I got interviewed before COVID, so both my interviews took place in the locations of the combined degree programs, so I had to pay for travel and accommodation. Also, that reminds me that applying to BSMD programs is not cheap at all. These med schools that you send your application to charge up to $150 just to process your application. And that's basically everything that happened in high school that led up to the point of me being accepted into one of these programs. I really hope that was helpful. Uh, I've had enough of this school. Um, there's a lot of bugs out, so yeah. All right, back from Jericho. I hated it there. But now that I've talked about what it's like applying to a BSMD program in high school, I wanna share how it's been the past two years in my program. So I didn't mention this since at the beginning, but these combined degree programs actually vary a lot when it comes to their program requirements. I mean, there's some programs out there that require you to get like a 3.7 GPA and a 515 on your MCAT, which at that point, I don't even see why they call it a BSMD program because literally like, Anyone with those stats could get into a great med school. USF, uh, <coughs> more Sony. Wow. But anyways, to stay in my program, I'm required to maintain a 3.5 overall and a 3.5 math science GPA. We're not required to take the MCAT and we have to complete, I think it's around like 300 hours of clinical experiences, community service, and involvement in on-campus organizations. And we're also required to complete an ID major, which is kind of like a double major, but instead I just have to finish 75% of the two majors. And another thing which I think makes our program unique is that we're actually required to study abroad and I'm actually studying abroad in London this winter. So that's basically all of my program requirements. And so far it hasn't been too difficult to meet these requirements and keep myself inside the program. But I think no matter what, it's gonna be hard. Being a pre-med in undergrad is difficult. I think some people have this misconception that BSMD programs are actually more challenging than being a typical pre-med. But in my experience, this is definitely not true. I think that's also because I attend an eight year program. I think the vibe at a seven year program is definitely different because of how fast paced it is. And trying to fit four years of undergrad into three years probably makes things a little stressful. If anything, being in my program relieves a lot of stress of what it would be like to be a typical pre-med and being in this program for the past two years has been amazing and it's brought me a ton of opportunities that I don't think I would have pursued if I went the traditional route like studying abroad for a full term or actually pursuing this passion of mine of making videos and posting content online so yeah there's a ton of different aspects to consider when talking about combined degree program and if I try to cover all of them in this video this video would be way too long if you have any questions about these programs feel free to dm me on instagram I'll pop it up right here. So yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.